Dude, I'm trying to do Ultimate Warrior here, so if you're a old school wrestling fan, you probably kind of got the wind of what I'm doing here. I'll pulverize any lungs to tell me to. You got Crowbar Mage Pledge! That's what I see him as. He probably talks like the Ultimate Warrior. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Falcon Bedlam, episode number two. Hopefully, you had a chance to check out episode number one. If you have not, stop the video. Go check it out because there's a really interesting note in there about what we're doing with the series, especially if you want to be renamed after certain people, too. So, check that out if you have if not, there should be a link in the video, and if not, um, stop the video and go watch it! Easy! <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get onwards over here. Uh, we're over here hanging out. We have, you know, not exactly the craziest amount of fuel. We have decent meat. <laughs> yeah, we do. But that's besides the point. Oh, we have a possible encounter up here. Wit. This could be an additional unit to our group. And this could be a unique unit, which would make... Um, they're actually really stronger. They're really huge units, so they take up a bunch of space on the map. Or at least in the battlefield. But they're actually quite strong. They're elites, if I remember here correctly. Let's go back there and check this out. I hate having to travel back, but I'm actually kind of curious into getting... Oh, not you. I know exactly who you are, and you were scary. King Viscera said you scuzzers would be a challenge. Ha! Crowbar Man is gonna pound your tootie baboobs with the man masher. Time to make paste! Oh, this guy's so difficult. At least I fought him really later on in the game, so he was just crushing me left and right. Um, if I beat him, I get a chance to add him to the party. <laughs> if I beat him, uh, the meat masher. Anyway, um, we have Sniper, we have Gunslinger, Gunslinger, and we have Trencher, right? We lost one of our frontliners in our very first fight, no surprise there. This is going to be a low battle, which means last time we fought in a normal one and we lost one of our units, so this will be easier than the first fight that we got into, oddly enough. Uh, I'm still going to take a frontliner, though, just in case we see any sort. No, no. You know what? For this guy, if I am correct, he is also a frontliner, the guy we're going to pick up. So he should be relatively slow in movement. He hits like a ton of bricks, but he's relatively slow. So what I could do is actually just get two snipers in here and hopefully try to just snipe him from afar. So let's go with two snipers instead. That's pretty good. Alrighty. Now, a lot of this is also based... Oh, it's only him! Oh, this is actually even better then. Great. There's nobody around him. Great. Normally, he'll spawn with a bunch of enemies, so you kind of have to make do with that, but this is a lot easier for us. So let's find out how far he can move. He can move up to here, and then his attack pattern is at least two squares ahead of him. So if he moves over here... If I'm standing over here with his fuel cannon, or his fuel cans are at, he would smash me. If I'm not there, I'm fine. So, that's actually pretty good. I could actually grab some fuel right now and move back and let him come to us. You know what? That's not a bad idea at all. Let's do that. Let me move up here. Crude. And then, crude. I'll move over here one. All right, come towards me, my friend. That's fine. Come up, come one more time. There you go. That's fine. Sniper, do you have a shot? Oh, Sniper doesn't have a shot. Uh, he's got a lot of health, as you can imagine. Um, he's going to also crush me in one hit. He does six damage, right? You would die in one hit. You would die in one hit. A lot of you guys would die in one hit, wouldn't you? Okay. Let's come over Shotgun Man. I almost want to just have Shotgun Man blast them away a little bit. Of course, that would put Shotgun Man in danger and possible death here. But the other thing I could do is just sacrifice Shotgun Man now, move my sniper back and take a, a shot, bring him down to 9 health. If I take the shot with the Shotgun Man, I'm bringing him down to 10 health. Oh wait, I have a shot now, don't I? I do! Hey! Get back there! So check this out. Assuming this worked out, I mentioned combinations in the first video. I just shot him with the shotgun man and I pushed him back, right? Let me swap over to my sniper. Yes! Sniper has a shot. So well, you could do some interesting combinations with this shotgun dude and the sniper. Remember, my sniper had no shot to begin with because he was uh, too close to the target. But since we shot this guy back with the shotgun, now I actually have a shot with the sniper without actually having to move him. Now mind you, this guy's still going to come over... This guy's still gonna come over here forward next turn and smash somebody and kill him, but... I don't mind sacrificing one of our troops for an elite troop, which is actually a pretty good frontliner. And there you go. This guy should be dead right here, and, um... I wanted to come over here to pick this up, but I think we should just go for the guaranteed kill. Yeah, nobody else has another shot, no. So, we'll go over here with the guaranteed shot. So, one... And two. And he's down. I would have liked to pick up some of these power cells, but so be it. I just really want to take care of this guy because he's really dangerous if you leave him alone for a long time. Because if he gets into blitz mode, oh boy, you don't want to see what happens then. So we got 100 fuel, we got some meat, and we got some power cells. Excellent. And no, more importantly, we got um, this dude, whatever his name was again, into our party. 
Mark of shame, Cape Visera with crowbars maze, head off his neck for the failure. If you make me aid your brush I'm trying to do Ultimate Warrior here, so if you're a old school wrestling fan, you probably kind of got the wind of what I'm doing here. I'll pulverize any lungs to tell me to. You got crowbar maze pledge. That's what I see him as. He probably talks like the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, crowbar main has joined the Dozer crew. Excellent. That should be our frontliner right here, right? Yes, frontliner. Excellent. So we lost a frontliner in the very first fight, but now we have crowbar main to replace him. So that's fine. The only thing that we're actually missing now is a shotgunner. I could live with that. By the way, these guys will actually upgrade to the next level, which is a veteran, once they have three kills to their names. So right now, who's close to being a veteran out of curiosity? Oh, Lilas is. Lilas is one kill away from upgrading. And you're two kills away. Frontliners probably don't have any kills. That's to be expected. Nor, you rarely ever get kills with the frontliners. But when you do, they can be really useful if you actually buff up one of the frontliners to veteran. Anyway, uh, we have nine powers, so it's not enough for an upgrade. Let's actually go forward again, because we went back for that um, recruit right here. So, feel is still not looking too great. It's eerily quiet, drive on. I will. And here's a point of. Well, actually, this will be a border, so we can actually jump over to Plughead area now. Uh, let's check out this point of interest first before we make this jump. I would like to get a few extra bit of fuel if we can. Uh, while exploring a formerly populated area, the crew comes across a group of vehicles. Judging by the equipment and logos of the Miskatronic Omnidimensional Research Firm, they must belong to corporate scientists from Byzantine doing research in Bedlam. Moments later, panicked scientists rush from one of the nearby buildings and desperately call to your attention. Hoy, travelers! We must beg your assistance. Our colleagues were collecting important data on the roof of this structure when they were accosted by a rather combative clan of cybernetically enhanced natives. Our colleagues are using valuable fusion technology to conduct research. It must not fall into the hands of undesirables. Our personal security detail proved ineffective. Could you extinguish the dread? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, let's go ahead and assist the scientists over here. The crew climbs to the roof of the nearby building and finds a group of cyborgs preparing an assault on the scientists. Your pure fletches want to get in the way of the fair acquisition? Guess we'll indulge ourselves with some extra carnage. Alrighty, so we're going to be dealing with cyborgs. Remember, they actually lose health over time, but they pack an extra bit of a punch here. So, what we could do right now, then, is we're one kill away from Lila's from upgrading her, so we'll keep her in the combat here. Uh, Gunslinger Hunter, we'll keep him around too. Two snipers. Do we want two snipers or should I just go with like a trencher and another frontliner? You know what? Let's go with um, only one sniper instead. We will do... We will do... Trencher, give me this dude over here, Giver, MacGyver. And, um, and in terms of a frontliner... Do I want to take Crowbar with me just now? Yeah, let's take Crowbar so we can show off how he works out. This will be a low danger mission. You know what? All I could probably then need is only four so I get some more fuel. But, you know, I'm gonna not play it too um, productive here. I'd rather just go with the guaranteed kill, not lose anybody, and then just find fuel as we go forward, maybe even in combat. So, Crowbar, you're good to go? I want to show off exactly how Crowbar plays out in combat. So, you'll see that he's actually a really huge unit. He takes up more than one spot on the map, so check this out. He's right here, right? Um, so, all these guys take up one square. He takes up four. Every unique unit will take up four squares. They can still duck behind certain things, right? But, um, they're a bigger target, so it's a bit more tricky to move them around. So, even though they have, like, higher damage, higher health, um, it's still kind of tricky, so you gotta have to keep out and keep an eye out for that. So, we have a dead eye over here. If he moves forward, let's see, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, roughly. You know, he could probably get a shot on me if he wanted to. Next turn, if he moved and shot. Now, in terms of pickups, these right here with the little clock on them, as you can imagine, are booby-trapped. Do not pick up the items on the ground floor that have those little bombs on them, or you will explode. You don't die, but you take a lot of damage, and you don't want that happening. Let's go ahead and pick up this fuel, which is right here in front of us anyway. E we'll do it with... Can you do it? No, you can't do it. So I guess we'll have to do it with the shotgunner. Or actually, another gunslinger. So move you here. Crude. Crude. And I'll move you back over here behind some cover. Alrighty. So again, the moment they start moving, they start losing health, which is fine. No shot you said? Great. I could potentially come over here. No, I can't. And I can't get a kill on the sniper yet. Okay, I'll wait it out. There's another um, gunslinger over here. There's a shotgunner over here. And here is my sniper. Sniper's still not ready for a shot, unfortunately. What about you? You are. Uh, how much health do you have? Five. I could move forward, hit him once, he'll come back and blast me in the face. And if he does do that, I should not die, I don't think. Because he has to move and then shoot me. He won't be able to shoot me from that far off. So he would have to move forward and take a shot before he actually... Uh, he would have to take two shots to kill me, honestly. 
Ah, uh, we'll wait it out here for a second. I still can't get over here in range, unfortunately. Sniper, what are you looking at? Sniper can move forward and shoot me in the face, but I think we should be fine for the most part. Ah, uh, what about you? You have no shot whatsoever on this guy. Well, actually, you do if you moved over here. Here, actually. I didn't take the shot. I don't think the sniper would be able to shoot me there. I don't think, anyway. So let's come over here and blast this guy away. Alrighty, sniper is not gonna kill me, great. Good moves, good moves. I mean, they're terrible moves on your part, but <laughs> they're good moves for me. And now we can come over here and just kill this guy with the shotgun or get him a second kill. However, we also have a shotgunner of their own over here. Lilas, you cannot get a kill with one hit. Sniper cannot get a kill with one hit either. Sniper's also gonna die from one shotgun blast, mind you. Uh, this is problematic indeed. Sniper has to move twice, I'm gonna say. Yeah. One, two. This is just to keep her alive. He can eat a shotgun blast, or she can, it's fine. Okay. So, now with the sniper, I should be able to get a kill. Perfect. Just move forward and take a shot, and that's it for us. The blitzometer still has not filled up, which is fine. Sniper's gonna move and then take a shot on me, that's okay. Should be low damage anyway. And then we finish it off right here. Uh, we still have a few moves before the blitz meter actually hits. The damage on this guy was actually relatively low, so you know what? Let's take this time to grab a few extra items out here in the field if we can. Sniper's gonna obviously go after Crowbar twice, I would say. Obviously he'll be hurt longer by me taking more time, because he'll take more damage, but we could grab some meat over here, which could be pretty useful. So we'll do one. We can do power cells instead. No, we can't. So we'll do the meat. Alrighty. Meat. Take a shot there, and then hopefully Crowbar could get close enough for a kill next turn. I didn't consider that option. Yes, we can. So, I think we'll have to give the kill to Crowbar. I didn't really didn't want to give it to an elite. I'd rather give it to one of my dudes to rank up, one of my rookies, but... I think we have to finish this fight now. So, let's come forward and just smash this guy into smithereens. Yeah! You've been smashing to smithereens! I am the ultimate warrior! Okay, anyway, 100 fuel, 150 meat, and 7 power cells. Excellent! Uh, with the cyborgs all defeated, the scientists emerged from cover and approached the crew. Endless grats to you, travelers. Our demise seemed unsured into your intervention. Allow us to compensate your effort. It appears our equipment was damaged by these quarrelsome individuals, but we have ample supply of power cells to share as a sign of appreciation. Yes, thank you. We could also invite the scientists on the dozer. If you invite more people to your um, dozer and you take them to Aztec City, you get a higher score to end the game with, and the score uh, applies to probably certain unlocks and things like that. So I'm not gonna invite them in, see if that's cool. A tempting offer, but our allegiances lie in the mysteries of the region. We do appreciate the rescued best journey to you. The crew leaves the scientists behind and returns to the dozer with the supply of power cells. And we got a significant amount of them. As a matter of fact, we have enough, we have enough for three upgrades, so let's actually go ahead and pump. Our fuel consumption a bit lower. We'll do one, two. I feel like going for barracks so we could heal faster, but maybe we should start focusing on meat as well. No, let's do barracks so we actually heal faster. Okay, pretty good. Now, if you're wondering what the other one is, this will beat armory, which basically you can use power cells, so you lose... You have to use... It makes it so you lose less power cells when you actually use combative skills with your um, attacks, which I haven't done yet. But again, I like to use my power cells for upgrades myself to passive ones, but that's just me. Alrighty, so um, let's come over here to the border and get on out of here. Um, We still have the... Yeah... The thing is that when you use these guys right here in combat, you use up your power cells, and again, like, I'd rather use these for the passive abilities, so... That's the reason why I don't really use my, um, active skills too often. And how are we doing in combat? Crowbar's gonna be out for 30 days, as expected. And so is Lila's. Still one kill away. Still one kill away. Alrighty. Let's come down over here. And now we're in the guarded level, so... Fights will start getting a bit more difficult as we go forward now. As the dozer travels along the road, it approaches a high cliff on one so uh, wall on one side. Written on the wall are the words, Viscera does not rule Bedlam. Ah, they must be good people then. Beneath that, another remark is scrawled in much larger letters with red paint. Yes, he does! <laughs> Lined up along the bottom of the cliff beneath the second patent message are a dozen decapitated hands planted on spikes. The second statement seems fairly clear. The dozer continues along the road, yeah. Yeah, um, basically Viscera is the main bad dude. I actually had the privilege of fighting him once off camera. I could have beat him, 
had oddly enough, ironically enough, no less, I activated a few of my active abilities. Though the ones you actually use in combat, they require power cells because whenever you do fight them, you'll get a good ample supply of power cells because when you get to Aztec City, they reward you relatively well for it. So you have a bunch of ex or excess power cells and I went through the entire fight with actually using them for healing purposes anyway. So I got down to like 1 HP for both sides, but he was going to take the hit before I would. So he ended up killing me like with 1 HP left and I was then I looked at the skills and I was like, "Oh, I should have healed." And I didn't. And I feel terrible about it, but whatever. I'll beat him someday, hopefully this run too, right? Over here we have a possibility of another recruit as we can see. Um, let's give it a try. I'm always interested in bringing some more people in, especially the unique units, but this guy is a shotgunner if I'm correct here. Uh there was a promise of bounty from King Viscera in exchange for murdering you scuzzers, but Scragger Main is going to smithereen you just for the joy kills. Hi, right, Scragger Main. Kind of like that name. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. We need to get Crowbar out of here, and maybe even Nihilus. Uh, this is going to be a guarded fight, so it's not quite normal, but it, he'll probably be himself there, and if maybe one or two extra dudes just running around. And he's a shotgunner, so he doesn't move too much medium range and his uh, his range of attack isn't too far but based on the fact he's a unique unit he might actually get a bigger range of attack than the regular trencher would if I remember here correctly now anyway we have shot um, sniper we have gunslinger and we have trencher let's get a frontliner for this one we'll go with Arnim over here and we could definitely use some more fuel but you know what I can't really risk it right now so let's go ahead and toss in uh, trencher gunslinger sniper I'll do like another sniper. You know what? Let's do another sniper because of the fact that they're he's a shotgun dude, we might actually counteract him with a sniper a bit better. So let's go forward with this layout over here. <clears throat> One turn is two actions, right? Come on, come on. All right, so exactly what I thought. We we're looking at two extra units along with him. All right, not too bad. Do I have any shots to start off with? No. None at all. Oh, here we go. We have a kill over here. Now, the problem is, if I move for that kill, does this guy kill me next turn? He probably. He would move forward and then shoot my sniper. So, you know... Oh, wait a minute. Guyver's here. Guyver should ha Oh, he's ducking, though. I didn't consider that. Does this sniper have a shot? By any chance? No. There we go. That's the shot right here. I... This is really risky because he's over here ducking, so he's getting a little bit of a bonus from that. But I need to take this shot and hope for the best. All right, luckily we got him. Excellent. All righty. So Guyver has two kills to his name, one more, and he actually levels up. Good to see. And then this guy's over here. I need him to get out of there. So what I'm thinking we do is, yeah, if he moves forward, it's, it kind of works out in my favor. I'm gonna move my sniper here once. He's moving with a big dude. Not too thrilled about that. All righty. Just be really careful about it. Sniper, what do you have? No shot. Unless you move back and then you take a shot, you should be a cool. Um, what about you? Hunter. Hunter has a shot. Has two attempts, as a matter of fact. I have to make sure that I hit both of them, though, because I only do three damage per hit, and he has five health. So, if I don't hit twice, um, I'm in trouble. So, you know what? I'd rather have the sniper take the shot than this guy. Oh, I regret everything. Yep, he's down. Oh, he's not. I'm not sure why you need crude for it, but okay. That actually helps me out a little bit. I'm surprised because I survived just based on this move alone. You know what? Can we actually get some shots on this dude now? We can! Excellent. One? I'm going to sacrifice... Huncher. He already has one kill to his name, so that's really unfortunate. But if I could get rid of the um, big unit fast, that's probably the best. So, I'm sorry, Huncher. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, dog. But I had a chance to take this guy out, so I needed to take it. And then, you're over here hanging out. Sniper would have a shot moving forward and one shot off. Yeah, that would be the kill. I don't want to really risk anybody else. This is the problem here. Morgan has one kill. Jerezium has one kill. Uh, I guess we move forward and take the shot. Alrighty, there you go. We lost one unit, that's okay. I basically sacrifices to get rid of the big elite unit out there running around, which is probably for the best, because that guy could do a lot of damage really fast. Let's see what we got here. Gift Quarter! Oh, wait a minute. Gift Quarter! Skagger Main accepts the savage beating. I know a clutch with demeanors when I see him. Give me some sweet, squishy targets, and I'll splatter them all over Bedlam for you. Alrighty, good. 
Scragger Main has joined the Dozer crew. Excellent. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today as well. Hopefully, enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Again, I will do renames starting. I'm going to do one more episode right now because I want to have some for the weekend. So, I actually, I come back on Monday to record a bit more. So, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yes, I need to record one more so I have episodes for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, um, Tuesday. Tuesday should be the first episode you'll see with your names on it. So again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in the first episode I mentioned, if you want to be renamed after certain somebody, it doesn't matter who it is, it's going to be random. So don't ask me for, like, can I be named after so-and-so class, things of that nature. It makes it a lot easier if I just choose whoever I give you a name to. Male, female, doesn't really matter, just roll with it, it's fine. Um, so let me know in the comments, Falcon, I want to be in a series, and I will add you starting Tuesday's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, I will catch you next time.